Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick note or a quick question here. Why the Deseret Academy? You can probably see the sign. I finished it tonight. Kind of proud of it. Could use a little touching up, but it's okay. Why the Deseret Academy? The problem with Deseret Academy is Deseret has a profoundly religious connotation with the Mormon Church. There's a thing called the DI. It's Deseret Industries. You go to the DI to get used stuff that was donated by people, and then the DI throws most of it away and takes what it can use and sells it to people who are poor. And it's the Salvation Army or whatever. I think that's what it is in other states. I saw one in Connecticut, but in, in Utah it's massive. The church runs a massive uh, you know, shopping center uh, for all used durable goods of certain kinds, shirts and stuff, and tables and different things, and just about anything, really, except for food, uh, that can be uh, bought second hand. And it's called Deseret Industries. The reason for that is that Deseret, uh, well, I don't know the deepest reason for it, but Deseret used to be the, the name the Mormon Church wanted to give to their territory, which encompassed all of Utah, I think all of Nevada, some parts of California maybe, up into Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, and Arizona, and parts of New Mexico. They wanted to call it Deseret Territory. I live in the town. There's like, oh yeah, there's like 400 people who live here now. The population is like 400 people. I grew up in this town. I was very confused at first when I was very young. I, I learned that this profoundly important word in the Mormon Church, Deseret, is somehow connected with the little village I lived in, which is of no importance to people who live two miles away. We don't have a gas station here. Uh, so, uh, Deseret Academy? I have two thoughts about that. First, religious people might think that uh, they should bring their kids here because it's the Deseret Academy as affiliated with the Mormon Church. They'll quickly find out it's not. But even if I get a customer or two from that, I'm not going to squeal and complain. In other words, I don't mind an accidental reference from an accidental religious non-reference. I don't mind that. But on the other hand, when I leave Deseret, uh, there's a town, Delta, eight miles away. That's the center of population for the county. Um, when I get a business location, hopefully in Delta, uh, I will be able to rename the school Crocker Lyceum. I'll already have students. I'll already have some word of mouth. It'll just be a little rocky change over to Crocker Lyceum. It'll be fine. Deseret Academy is because Crocker Lyceum will be a little rougher to sell. I'm going to put this sign out in front. Everybody here just grows hay and works at a power plant for a living. If they see Cropper Lyceum with a phone number, a lot of them aren't really going to know what to think, and they just won't think anything else. They'll be like, that's not something I understand. No, forget about it. But Deseret Academy is different. If they're interested in education, or if they have kids, if their kids have problems at school, or anything else, they're homeschooling, they might think, you know. So once I have standing and clout, uh, Deseret Academy will shut down, and as evidence for that, I send people to CropperLyceum.com to fill out applications for Deseret Academy. And uh, that's going to be, uh, maybe uh, maybe Deseret Academy will become a permanent institution, but I don't foresee that happening. So it's just a temporary name for convenience. Cropper Lyceum remains the default name. It's the website I'll send them to, and if they ask me anything about that, I'll explain to them why Proper Lyceum is the appropriate name for my school, and why Deseret Academy is the convenient name. So, some people are concerned about that because they know about this bizarre religious connotation of the word Deseret. Just thought I'd put that out there.